Welcome to day 21 of 40 seconds for 40 days. Rabbi Nachman once asked the following question about Yaakov Avinu. Yaakov, as we know, tried desperately to buy the firstborn rights from his brother Esav in order to attain this level of being considered the firstborn child, of which, of course, he never technically would be the firstborn because you can't buy a fact. A fact of life was that Esav was the firstborn. But why did Yaakov fight so hard for this Bechura, for this firstbornness of Esav? And Rabbi Nachman answered that what made the Bechor personality trait so special and unique and that which Yaakov was fighting for and wanted to incorporate within himself was the ability to see something even for a second time as if it was your first time. To be able to experience that renewal and that newness every time you come back to something that you have already seen once before is an incredibly powerful and special trait that one can have in this world. And ultimately, Yaakov was fighting for the ability to experience that newness and renewal, that Bechor element of what a person can actually be. And we understand so clearly what the lesson is, that there's so many elements of life, so many parts of our Judaism that we repeat and are repetitious and that go on and on, the same thing every single day. We go to shul every single day, we wear tefillin every single day, except for Shabbos, but every other day we do this and that and the other thing every single day. Consistency in life is beautiful, but it also makes things harder because they become boring. Yaakov wanted this ability to see things anew, even if it was not the first time he saw it. And this is indeed something that we can ask Hashem for as well. We ask Hashem, our Father in Heaven, please give us the ability to see things with new eyes and a new perspective, in a new light, to be able to be consistent, but at the same time, not be uh, bored by the consistency of life. This is, of course, one of the most important things that we can ask for in this time period, as we now find ourselves, hopefully, fitting into a certain rhythm and we're getting closer and closer to Hashem. Hopefully, we can now be able to turn to Hashem and say, even though we continue to do this, Please help us feel renewed every day, even though it is becoming a part of our daily routine. Wishing everyone a beautiful day.